Hi everyone, our names are Haley, Caitlin, and Michaela, and we're from Project Art Start. Uh, we are from Project Art Start, a high school club that tours different museums to learn about different forms of art. We then in second semester go around to different elementary schools and teach projects to you guys. Before we begin, we will go over our plan for this lesson. First, we will go over the project that we are making. Then, we will go over some background history on the artist and show some pictures of the museum exhibit. Then, we will present to you a project demo before finally letting you guys do the project yourselves. Here is my final product of the project you guys are going to be doing. So, for this project, we're going to be using colored paper, scissors, and any drawing utensils such as colored pencils, crayons, or markers. With the colored paper, you will be cutting out shapes and gluing them onto your project. If you don't have any colored paper, then you can draw shapes directly onto your paper. Before we get into the project demo, we will be going over a bit of history. So what inspired our project was the colorful patterns and vivid vibration coming from the featured artist Ebony G. Patterson's artworks. A specific piece that we thought was really cool is called While the Dew is Still on the Roses, which is one of her pieces in the museum. The overall theme that we got from her artwork is geometric patterns and vibrations, which we will keep in mind when creating our artwork. Patterson's early work often revolves around questions of identity in the body and takes the form of mixed media paintings, old drawings, and colors, most of them on paper. Photography found objects, installation, and performance have recently became increasingly important in her practice. Here's a little more about Ebony G. Patterson as shown in the picture on the right. She's a Jamaican-born visual artist and educator known for a large and colorful tapestry created out of various materials such as glittery sequins, fabrics, totes, beads, fox flowers, jewelry, and other embellishments. Her Gangsters for Life series of dancehall portraits and her garden inspired installation. What does the Nasher Museum look like? As you can see in these pictures, the museum has a lot of flowers and the artwork. They are incorporated into the vibrant colored pieces with lots of patterns and vibrations. Keep these intricate patterns in mind as you, as inspiration when you create your own wonderful artwork. Now, here's a demo video made by Haley. Hey guys, so today we're going to be making art with music. So in this lesson, we are going to play some music and based on the music, we're going to draw how we feel or draw the instruments that we hear in the music. Listening to this music makes me think of a ball almost like something bouncing up and down. Sometimes in this music I can kind of think of somebody blowing bubbles. I'm also not using any specific colors but if I were to think of a color that makes me think happy it's definitely yellow. So I'm going to try to add some yellow in here. Now that I'm getting kind of stuck and I'm trying to think what other shapes, what other things can I use in this? I'm going to draw one of the instruments I think I hear in the music. And I'm going to try to draw a little piano on the side over here. And there's my little drawing of a piano. I'm going to draw a little line so it sounds like someone's playing it. Because that's definitely what's happening in this music. Now I feel pretty done with the whole happy music, but this piece just doesn't feel whole just yet. So I'm gonna merge all the songs, the happy, the angry, and the sad. So right now we're gonna listen to the sad and I'm gonna think, what can I add to my drawing? So let's see, I'm going to take my blue because this is sad music and sad music makes me think blue. Now I'm going to draw something that symbolizes sadness. So, tears. Tears are definitely what happens when you're sad. Okay, now that we have a teardrop here, here, symbols here, because that's something we hear in the music. And for my happy one, I have a piano already drawn right here. And circles and the color yellow, because that makes me think happy. Now let's move on to the angry music. Thing I know I definitely hear in that are drums. So I'm gonna take my orange because orange and red make me think angry. I'm gonna draw a drum. And we can make another more little like vibration marks to make it look like it's being played just like the symbols. Okay, something big in this angry music is definitely 
a guitar. And there's my big guitar. And there's my collage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I hope you guys look amazing and I bet they do. Have fun. Now that we've watched the video, it is now time for you to create your own projects. As you create your projects and listen to the music, keep a few things in mind. What, so what sounds do you hear? What emotions does the song portray? For example, maybe you will associate sad song to the colored blue and vibrating noises with squiggly lines. Be creative, it's all about your interpretation. So here are the steps. First, listen to the music and feel it. Choose one of the links that we provided and listen to the music, keeping in mind the sounds, instruments, and other things you hear. Step two, what do you feel? Happiness, joy, sadness? Think about what colors and shapes you will use to express these feelings in your project. Step three, think about what instruments you hear. Are they loud, quiet? What colors are associated with these different sounds you hear? For example, red might be associated with angry and blue might represent sadness. Step four, make a list of what you hear. Step five, think about what colors or shapes you could use to express the emotion you feel. Step six, now draw what you feel. Using shapes cut out from paper or hand-drawn shapes, create a collage of what you felt from the music. You can even incorporate different textures into your project, such as pop-up shapes or using a mix of both crayons and colored pencils. Step seven, have fun. Here are some examples of shapes and colors that you guys can use in your artwork. Be creative and have fun. We hope you guys enjoy our project.